Okay, perfect. So a few of you say um, you, this is your brand new, three days in, brand new to this. Perfect. So let's get started. Real quick, we're just going to be doing an introduction to Canva today. Um, I'm not going to go too much in depth with it. There are two little quick videos being shared. Uh, we're talk we're going to talk about cost comparison and actually navigating Canva um, for those that haven't heard about it or for those that are new to using it. So right off the bat, I'm going to hit play on this video. Please, in the chat, let me know that you can hear it. All right, that's what I wanted to make sure. So give me just one moment. I just hit to make sure that it was sharing the sound. Let me hit play again. And again, let me know in the chat if you can hear it. Welcome to Canva. Let's take a look around the homepage and learn how to find what you need to start designing. With Canva, you can design anything. There are thousands of professional templates to get you started. You can explore templates in a few ways. Start by typing keywords in the search bar. Browse by document theme. Or scroll down the page and be inspired. If you have something specific in mind, you can enter the custom dimensions here. In the top menu, you can discover templates by theme. Explore photo and icon libraries, printed products, apps, and more. Or access Design School, where you can learn to use Canva and supercharge your design skills. The sidebar helps you organize your designs. You'll find all the designs you've created in this tab, and designs shared with you by your team in this one. Creating a team is easy. Just add the people you want to design with, assign their role, and invite them. You can also create folders for designs, photos, content, and ideas to keep your projects organized. Canva's homepage makes it easy for you to design anything. All right, so that's a quick intro to Canva. Um, it really is a, a pretty easy design platform to use when you're creating um, your marketing materials, and we'll go over a few of those items. Um, it is used by 80% of Fortune 500 companies, um, including large companies and small businesses, which is what we are. We're independent travel agents, and this is perfect for us um, to use. Lucky enough, we do have um, two different price, price ranges for this. Um, so you can use Canva for free. Um, it's free for anyone wanting to design. Um, anything on their own or with others as it as the video showed you can create a small team if you want to everybody will have a free account um, but you're limited in the templates that are available to you um, a lot of the videos that you can um, implement into your um, you know let's say a social media post or an ad marketing ad that you're trying to create create those are going to be under fall under canva pro um, what I do like about Canva is that if there's an image that you don't like in Canva and you find one on Google that's a free template uh, open with the rights for you to create and use openly to the public, you can actually um, copy and paste it into Canva, which is a great little feature that um, that I like, even with the free, the free um, plan. Or you can go Canva Pro. Um, and it is uh, 119 a year for one person annually, or you can pay, I believe it's $12.99 per month. Um, so you do end up saving a little bit when you go the annual route, but you gain access to everything. And, and I mean everything. You get to have a brand kit, which I'll show you in the next video, how that helps. Um, you get over 100 million premium stock photos, videos, audio graphics. I mean, everything that you can imagine, you have access to it. Um, you can create dedicated folders. So for those of you that are participating on both sides of the business, meaning you're doing the travel and you're doing the team building, you can create your marketing ads 
and separate them into folders so that way you don't just have it all jumbled up together. Um, you can resize designs. And my favorite feature is removing an image background. Um, sometimes you don't want that background that's in the image and you just want, you know, the silhouette of, of a person or whatever the case may be. Um, I like that, that feature a lot. Um, you can schedule social media content to eight platforms. You have one terabyte cloud, uh, cloud storage. And of course you have your 24 seven customer support. So those are the two different prices. Um, there also is Canva uh, Teams for anyone that wants to do a team. Um, the reason why I didn't post it on here is that when you start to build teams, you're only allowed one logo or one brand kit. So if you have five people that, that go in on it, um, only one person is gonna be able to build the, their logo on there or make it a part of that brand kit. Of course, you can make a logo and it's just not gonna be part of the brand kit, but um, you'll see that in the next video. So again, this is just a quick one minute video as well. Setting up and accessing your brand kit helps your team to make designs that are always on brand. Here's how. BrandKit houses your logos, colors, and fonts for quick finding and keeps designs consistent across your team. To set up BrandKit, select it from the sidebar. BrandKit is available for Canva Pro, Education, and Enterprise customers. Click to upload or drag and drop to add your logos. Name your color palette for easy reference. Click the plus symbol to add your colors. Type in a hex code to easily add them. You can even add multiple color palettes. Search to add your heading, subheading, and body fonts. Then add sizes and styles. In the editor, accessing logos is easy. Just find the Logos tab and click to add your design. Your team can easily use the elements set up in your brand kit when designing. They can do this through the Styles tab. Apply brand colors and add in text. Apply your brand to designs quickly to maintain brand consistency with BrandKit. To learn more, visit designschool.canva.com. Setting up. All right, so as I stated, um, Canva Pro is pretty easy to work with. Um, I do have a link at the bottom of this, oops, of uh, the bottom of this screen where you can start and get a free 30-day uh, trial with Pro. So if you're interested in that, I can share that link. Um, let me put this right here in the chat. That'll give you a 30 day uh, free trial of Pro. So you get to sign up, try it out. If you like it, get started with that. Um, it'll ask you to set up a, a date for when that one nineteen ninety nine is gonna um, process through. But again, at least this way you get to try it out, see the features of Pro uh, compared to what you get with basics. So I'm gonna get out of this slide and I'm gonna go straight to my browser. Okay, so please everyone let me know that you can see my browser now. Type it in in the chat. I'm working on two screens, so I want to make sure everyone sees it. Um, I'm on Canva. I haven't logged on. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to log in first um, under basic. Log in. Just so you can see how you are limited on some things. So you still get to create, you still have access to all the different tabs. Um, it's just when you go to actually create items, as you can see right here, brand, it's marked with a little crown, meaning that that's a pro feature. Same thing with the content planner. So under basic, you don't get the content planner. Um, being able to schedule your posts onto the eight different platforms. Um, but you still have access to creating items 
such as this illustration. I had just picked it up earlier. Um, this is all free items. This was a template that I just happened to click on. I went to templates and I think I typed in travel. So I'll go in here. I'll type in travel. And then these are the different designs that are available for you to use. Now, just because you see them does not mean that they are 100% free. Sometimes you'll see the ones that have this one that says paid or this one that says pro. These means that they have features on here that under basics, when you go to click on it and you try to use it, um, you're not going to be able to use it or it's not going to show up properly because you have basics. So see how this one, it won't even let me click on it because I'm under the free option. Um, but there's still plenty of other ones that you can click on. As I said, this was a free one that someone created and they shared, which is one of the features that you can do. So all I did was edit it. I put my company name, I put my info. Um, I could use this as a post. You hit share, you can copy the link to this. You can download it. If you download it, you have different ways to download it, a JPEG, a PNG, PDF, um, you can do a PDF print. You can also make an MP, uh, download it as an MP4 video. Since it does have some features that are movable on here, it would probably be best to do it as a MP4, but this is the way to share it. Um, you also have a way to share it. Here's your social media, your schedule. You can share it on if you link your profiles to here. So individually, you could share this post to the, to to LinkedIn or to Facebook or to any one of the social media platforms, but you couldn't actually schedule it for a later time. Um, so that's one of the things that you can't do. That has to be done on the planner, and that's a pro feature. But at least this way, you can share it. You can also let's say that you make a template that you're just like it is too good to keep to myself. I want to share it with, you know, on the chat, or I want to share it on a group post. Um, there's plenty of Facebook travel agent groups that you can uh, join where people share their templates or sometimes they share what they've created. You can create a template link, copy this, share it in the group, and now everyone has access to this design and they can create their own, modify it however they want to. Um, so that's another great feature as well. So again, this is under just being under basic. You still have access to a lot, a lot of items. Um, Canva is great for when you're creating a mock booking, for when you're trying to create a quick little quote, if you're trying to create an itinerary. Here's some designs, quick designs. So it saves you time when you're trying to do it. Again, these are items that have been created and shared. Makes it look elegant, makes it look um, professional and minimal work on your part when you're having to create these. So again, Canva is just a quick design platform to help you be creative and come up with some items on how to uh, market yourself as a travel agent. So again, this was just basic, um, but you have different tabs for business, social media. If you wanna make some marketing items, you can make your business cards on here. Let's search travel. And then I'm gonna go business, marketing, business card. Let's see if it'll come up with anything. So here's a business card. Here's some designs that are already on here. You just have to add your info on there. Um, you can also, when you click on these, this is a, oh, that's a pro one. Let me click on one that's not a pro one. Here's one. Nope, that's a pro as well. Let's see what this one was. You can go print business cards, front, back. You can have Canva print it for you. This is charging $15 for 50 business cards. Or you can download the template and print yourself. 
create a PDF and print it, you know, copy it into a, you know, whatever um, kind of paper that you go and buy and print yourself. So you can print it onto stickers for, on Canva. You can print it, your design onto a shirt, advertise yourself while you're walking around in the grocery store, walking around in town, create some calendars for your um, clients. I mean, you can do so much with Canva and it's all at your fingertips. So again, this was just a quick intro into Canva, how you can use it, what's available for you. Again, you have two different price plans, um, being the free, the pro, and then if you want to, you can go teams. Um, but I would stick with free and pro for individuals. Um, so that way you get to create your own brand and your own logos by trying to do it as a team. Does anyone have any questions? Feel free to write in the chat or unmute yourself. This was just a quick overview of how to use Canva. Um, we do have another training coming up. I want to say it's next week or the following week where I'll be doing um, how to create quotes and itineraries in Canva. All right, I don't see any questions. So that's really it for the intro. I just wanted to provide how to get uh, Canva. Canva.com is the website. You can use the link that I shared in the um, chat to get your 30 day free trial. Other than that, I wish you guys a uh, happy Veterans Day. Um, for those of you that may be veterans, I am. Um, and I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend.